Right, my camera's not working beautifully, but here's a valley I've not explored down here. I don't think I've ever been in that valley there. Or I might have been without knowing. That's the other thing. I, I sometimes, in the early days, I might have actually gone up through there and not realised. But you can get down it from here. But that's not my plan today. I'd have to have set off a lot earlier to have done that. This All this area is called the Plantation, by the way, and Beacon Hills, right up there, where the trick point is. And over here, if you want to have a wander around the Plantation, Staple Plantation, you can. You can actually get out here, which I've done before. I'm not doing that today either. Um, there's a series of walks around the plantation that you can do in all directions and I've done quite a bit of that in the past. Like I said, when you've got a car you can you can spend a lot more time because you can come back to your base each time and, and do everything. When you're like me, I've got to go. I'm on the move all the time. But like I said, this is very interesting. I mean, look at that pile and perch on the side there. Photos coming up quite dark at the moment. It does this now and again, the camera. I've got no idea why it does it. It's plain at the top there. Um, so like I said, you can wander around. It's like gardens. And I've done another route I would have come, I've come up lots of times. It's from the other side of this hill. That's the time, I, that's the way I normally come up near Weecombe. We come coom. But there is nice to wander around there, but I'm not doing that today. I wouldn't if I hadn't come up the hill today, I wouldn't have seen this view either. I'm just gonna turn off and take a right. picture. Just gonna carry on doing a bit of video on all this road a minute. I'll be coming out into better light in a minute for the camera for photos. It's conquer season. And they might be chestnuts actually. I don't know if you can eat those sort, I don't know. A lot of people park down there. It's probably a lovely walk in that valley, which I've not done. I can't believe I've never done it. <coughs> Thing is, there's no bus on the A39 from Minehead to Bridgewater. So, my bus is on the other side, you see. So restricted that vehicle. So restricted. It's lovely these chestnuts along here though, aren't they? There's probably a way that people do a circular walk and they can go down through the valley. And maybe I could have done that today and come up there. I just stop again. We're going to do short videos, folks, because yeah. I saw this food. The too. reason I'm concentrating on video in this bit is because it's new to me. It's new to me, see? It's beautiful, isn't it? I bet my sister Jude's done all that. I can actually see a pathway going up. Food for thought for another time in the summer when there's longer times. It's autumn now, of course. <sighs> the old trees there, that looks like an elm. What I remember what an elm was. Yeah, there's so much to do. You know, I don't know how people can get bored. That's why I have to get out of my fume box. <laughs> my box. Yeah, I have to get out. Now that, uh, see, it doesn't take me long to get here, really. Um, but I, I, it only cost me £6.60 
back there and there and back if I go off peak. But if I wanted to do extra, like go over there, I'd have to leave early, very early. I'd have to come up Lugs Lane. Or I could come up Weakham, go down here and then down Lugs Lane and get the bus. Do it in reverse. The Weakham Coombe would be a gradual climb. Lux Lane was quite a... I got up it quicker than I thought though. I really did. So all in there is what's called the plantation where you can roam about. It's like a massive garden and I think it might have been landscaped um, differently in the past. I've got a feeling. Look at that lovely tall tree there. Look at that one there. Isn't it gorgeous? God, let's just have a look before I... I'm going to take a picture of that tree. Wow, I can see um, West Gauntox Head Church down there. I'll just zoom into it. Or that could be the manor where Georgia got married. Could be. That might be the manor house. Actually, it is the manor house. Georgia married there. Church, is, church might be just in front. I'm not sure. I think that's the whole thing. Yeah, 19... No, 2015 she married there. They stayed the night. They might have stayed two nights, I think. I've got a feeling I've actually been over that side, but I don't think I've done this valley. So there are other ways to think about. Now that I've got reference points with the West Quantock Head, Obviously, if I made my way down, I have come around a bit there because one of the walks I do is sometimes to West Quantock Head and then I do the coast back to Kilv. And I have seen the path leading this way and I don't know if I've done it. I don't, I don't reckon I have. Or I might have done a bit of it and then got up in the, on the top there. That's what I reckon I've done. I reckon I've been up on the top but not done the valley. The valley looks really good. Looks really good. Right then, I'm just going to take some photos again. Short videos joined together. Right folks, I'm nearly up to a familiar area that I know well. I know there's not time to do this today. I know. But I'm going to come back and do it. Another day. What I'm going to do... I'm going to go from Bicknola, follow the Coleridge path, go up Wycombe Hill, Coombe, so I get up here. I won't do the whole of Wickham Coombe now, I'll do the start of it and branch off. Then I can walk down here and then I can decide whether I want to go up the top there and back or back down the Lux Lane. I know there isn't time today because I, I need to plan for that because I want to enjoy it. I don't want to think I'm going to run out of time. I've been here loads of times. I've never noticed that valley because I've never come down here before. I might have seen a type of track. And I would have seen it on a map. But I wouldn't have known how gorgeous it was until I walked up here. Till I walked up here. Magnificent views. Magnificent valley. 
when I get home, I'm going to study the map. Yeah, there's plenty to do. The thing is, winter's coming. Winter's coming. Which means less time, less light. If I did it in the winter, I'd have to do it on a Saturday so I could get the early bus, early train. I wouldn't have to pay any more either. So here's a car park, what you call Staples Plain. It's a picnic place. They ex keep extending the car park. But people park here to walk. I'd better go up that way in a minute. After I've checked the time, now to drink. I'll take my coat off, it's getting quite warm now. Just want to get up here. Oh, where's the plaque gone? I need to check the time because I need to pace myself. And one of the walks I do when I come up from down there, because that's Weakham Valley down there. As I come through the gate there, and I walk up, or it might be that gate, I walk up here. In fact, I think it is that gate. And look at the beautiful views, folks. The idea is for me to come down Weakham later, but not that much later. Time goes fast. Um, Yeah, the plaque's gone. There used to be a board here with information like history and archaeology information on Beacon Hill. I'm going to follow that path up because I just want to get some ideas of that valley from there. Then I'll, then I'll move over towards that way and come down Wycombe. Yes, yeah, so that's given me food for thought. Plenty of food for thought. Over and out, folks.